What is up, YouTube? Ultimate Lock here. This video is going to be about Pokemon Go Maps. Pokemon Go Maps is by far the best Pokemon Go tracking software to date. It is insane how good it is and it is extremely, extremely effective. I was originally planning on doing this video four days from now, but the reason why I uploaded it today is because they did a massive update yesterday, which made it a lot more user friendly, a lot easier for me to actually make this video. Before, you actually had to install Python and you actually had to do some manual coding to basically get your information, and then you'd have to open up CMD and basically enter that information with the coordinates to actually go and use the software. Now it's much more user friendly. It is insane. So first off, go in the description. There'll be some download links. This is the first download link. It'll be Pokemon Go map. Uh, just go off and install this. There will be an updated version. So I'm going to go and uh, link you to basically the primary uh, directory. That way, in case they update it, you can just download the current version. Uh, the way they're going, it's most likely going to always look like this, or it's going to be much more uh, user friendly. So shouldn't be much harder than this. You're going to go click Pokemon Go live map. And pretty much if you just look at this right here, if they even change this name, you can just tell by one the what it looks like. And it obviously looks like a uh, an action file or an API file. So this is what it will bring you to. Uh, log into Pokemon Go. So first off, you will have to log into... Uh, to your Pokemon Go account. What I would recommend doing, or actually I shouldn't even say recommend, you should just do this always. Uh, when you're using a third party program, you should always make a new account and use it as a dummy account. There's no reason why you can't use the software with any Pokemon Go account. There should be no requirement. So I opened and made a brand new Pokemon Trainers Club account, and that is the Pokemon uh, Go account that I use. I do not use my primary Pokemon, uh, this with my primary Pokemon Go account, because if Niantic ever wants to go off and ban people for using third-party software, they're just going to do a massive full ban to everyone. Now, I would not consider uh, this to be ban-worthy, just because, one, you're basically doing the exact same thing as Pokevision. It's just more updated, and it's not spoofing your GPS. But... Uh, Obviously, they might not be able to tell whether you're spoofing your GPS or not with this, so I would highly recommend you just going off and using a basically a dummy account. Uh, you're going to need to get a Google's Map key. All you have to do is Google search how to get a key. It's very, very easy. All you have to do is agree to some legal BS and then go to config options. Uh, these are basically just your uh, location details or the location detail that you're wanting to go towards. So this is the address that I'm going towards and your scan options. Now, right now, the config options really this right here doesn't work, even though I had them inputted. When I open up the application, it's not going to register. So we're going to have to do it manually, which I'll show you. And it's very, very easy to do so. The scanning option does work. Um, basically, 7 is perfect for anyone who's on foot or uh, biking. 10 is basically possible if you're biking. 15 is not doable on a bike. Uh, well, I guess it is doable, but most likely you don't want to have it on 15. Uh, I would recommend just keeping it on 7. So yeah, we are ready. Log in. It's going to bring up this window, and we're going to make this bigger. Dun, 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 dun. Don't want to make it full screen. Uh, that should be good right there. So it's going to bring you on to the middle of nowhere. Uh, this is literally nowhere. Uh, we're going to go to options. And you're going to have some options right here. It's going to say change your location, Pokemon, gyms, Pokestops, scan locations. So these are all the common Pokemon I would suggest hiding. And you can notify whenever a uh, Jatini spawns. Uh, let's just say Magmar 2, Magnemite, whatever Pokemon it wants or you want to get. Just type it in there and it'll pop up a message when it's spawned. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So let's switch to... Uh, Google Maps. So here we are. And uh, yeah. So this is West Shore Plaza. West Shore Plaza is known for having some rare Pokemon spawns because one is a mall and it's a very popular mall. So we're going to be using that as our point uh, for our location. Now, uh, Tampa, Florida, this is where it's located. Here's the coordinates. Click on this. It's going to bring it over to the left. You're going to copy these coordinates. And then you're going to go back to the API. Okay. So let's bring this up. You're going to go to change your location. Hit enter. And here it is. This is the location, as you can see here. This is the exact same thing as you saw on Google Maps. And we're going to go to options. 
scan locations. Now, you don't have to have scan locations on. This is just currently showing you what area is getting scanned. It's only going to get to here and then it's going to restart from the center and go outward again. And anything that's popped up in the meantime, since it's scanned from here, will be updated. So that's something to be aware of. We're going to turn this off. Now you can turn off uh, Pokestops, but Pokestops is actually something I'd really recommend uh, keeping on. And uh, yeah, so hopefully there is actually, yes, there is. Okay, so there's some Pokestops that have some uh, lures over here. Let's click right here. This lured Pokemon is number 54 Psyduck. So basically at this Pokestop, you're gonna have a much higher chance of uh, seeing Psyducks up here. So it's really awesome. You can sometimes find your teenies, whatever it is. It's just freaking amazing. This one's gonna be Magikarp. And I have not confirmed this. I do not know 100% if this is true or not, but I think Pokestops, when you put a lure on them, it randomly uh, generates one. I don't think every, uh, Pokestop actually has a set a uh, Pokemon that's going to be constantly lured. I may be wrong, but I think it's RNG. So, uh, yeah. Now, this is what I would recommend doing with this software. One, it's really good. The only problem that I have with it is that its mobile options are limited. It recently had the ability to be used as a mobile. So, if you're going to want to use it as a mobile device, just click mobile. Uh, say not enabled. Click toggle sharing. Go to this link right here. Uh, it's going to be different every single time you uh, pop it up. So bookmarking is pointless. You'll just have to manually type it in. And yeah, pretty simple. And it'll show you the exact same thing as this and it'll constantly update. Now, the problem that I have with this software is that one, it does not, uh, it does not show your location. So if I'm out running around and I'm looking for this Magmar, and I'm on the other side of the town, I have no idea where I currently am. So I'd have to go on the street address, type in the Google Maps, and then have Google Maps direct me to the destination, which is not too hard, but when you're on a bike and you're trying to pedal as fast as you can, it can sometimes be annoying. So we're gonna be using a app called Pokevision. I shouldn't say an app, it's a website called Pokevision, and that is pretty much something that everyone here should know. As you can see here, uh, nothing has been shown, and we are going to scan the location for the magmar. So this is where the magmar was, and we didn't even need to scan it. It's just there. So it is definitely accurate. And now you can basically find, you can click this right here. And oh wait, you can't see that. Okay, you click this right here and it's automatically scrolled to my current location. It requires browser's permission. So this right here will basically be a GPS tracking tool and show you where you are, and then you can guide yourself to the Pokemon. It's very easy, it's very effective, and it's just freaking awesome. So this is what I recommend for anyone who's trying to go off and basically catch all 150 of them. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, peace out.